Hey, I'd like to welcome everyone back. Today I'm going to be talking about The Last Mandetta, which can be seen as a standalone film since it works within the caught in the middle shared universe. None of the original characters from the first film appear in this movie, which takes place six weeks after the Catherine Chang kidnapping. So uh, let's get into it. The Last Vendetta is the story of Doug, played by actor Bradley Benz, a contract killer, or hitman if you will, who has an honor code. That is, to finish the job he's contracted for. Doug decides to take one more job before he retires. Initially, Doug didn't want the job to kill Abby as he felt it was a personal vendetta. His associate and handler, Antoine, convinces him that the money is the most important aspect of this job. Doug, who as I mentioned follows a code of no women, no children, decides to take the hit, which will be his last. The character of Abby, played by actress Casey Worth, is a very complicated young woman. She's a rival to Catherine Chang, whom she absolutely hates because Catherine and her friends bullied her daily. She's also in a lesbian relationship with a college student by the name of Aaron. To make matters even more difficult, she hates talking about her past, which will come into play later on in the film. Before I go on, I'd like to give a shout out to actress Tremana White, who on the fly was able to take up the role of Aaron, who in the original script was Abby's best friend. But due to a scheduling conflict, um, we had to switch her role to play the girlfriend as opposed to the best friend, uh, which was played by Colin Tidwell, who played the character of Colin. Um, both women were very professional in their scenes, and I couldn't have been more happier that in between takes there was a camaraderie between the two women. So I just wanted to shout that out, that uh, these two young ladies, on the fly, like literally 24 hours before we had to film this scene, were able to adjust and um, make the scene work to the best of their ability. Eventually, Doug makes an attempt on Abby's life, but... In the ensuing chaos, he ends up killing Colin instead, and because Doug is not a huge fan of collateral damage, he lets it be. But Doug does eventually catch up with Abby when his past catches up to him as well. When he confronts his friend Antoine about who contracted him for this job, we learn that it was Marcus Baines from the original Caught in the Middle film. In closing, I gotta shout out a few people. Johan Stephenson, who played Dimitri, Kelly Kula, who played Tanya, um, Jeremy Alexander, who played Jason in Doug's flashback scene, and then, of course, I can't forget my high school friend, Chrissy Pettigo, who played the voice of Abby's mother and Doug's ex-wife. My next video will lead us into the Caught in the Middle Anthologies web series, which takes place several years into the future. We will see Elena and Svetlana, Dimitri's twin daughters from The Last Vendetta, featured in the first few episodes which we will talk about next time. So thank you again for tuning in, and I hope everyone is staying safe during this horrible uh, pandemic.